You dead? Are you dead, man? You need a tourniquet? Oh boy, has six months really flown by just like that? I remember it like yesterday when I left, leaving behind many great ideas and friends to go out to train to become a soldier. But now that I'm out of the active duty and back into the reserve component, it's time to make another video for you guys. So what better way to kick off my military withdrawal than to make a top 5 video of the best cadences ever created. Please note that there are many versions to a single cadence, so I'll try to make it uh, include the different versions and a bit of the background. With that being said, let's all stand up, hook up, and shuffle to number 5. Number 5 -oh. Now this one is a classic. It was probably one of the first ones I heard when I went to JCLC for my high school's JRTC program. Mostly everyone there knows the cadence. Uh, even those who haven't served in their life usually know the cadence. And that cadence is, uh, hey hey Captain Jack. With its simple lyrics and its over the top humor, this song is so fun to repeat and when mixed around a bit, can be pretty funny. Here's a listen. Hey, hey, Captain Jack. Hey, hey, Captain Jack. Meet me down by the railroad track. Meet me down by the railroad track. With that weapon in my hand. With that weapon in my hand. I'm gonna be a shooting man. I'm gonna be a shooting man. As mentioned before, there are other versions that when messed around with it, it's, it gets pretty dank. But for the life of me, I can't find versions I'm talking about. So I'll leave the lyrics on the screen if you guys want to try it out later. Number four. Ever ran into a company that you just absolutely hate and you wanted them to know it? Well, down by the river may just be up your alley. This little cadence is packed with the hatred you have towards the other company slash platoon and you want them to feel it. Although it sometimes gets to the point where in AIT and basic training, you will hear this on a daily basis, possibly even on an hour basis, and it just gets annoying. You sometimes hear it for multiple drill sergeants in one day or but being one of the first songs you'll hear when you get to basic training means that it meets, it meets the requirement for this list. It's a good it's a good cadence. Not to mention, when done right, you can really intimidate an opposing element. It makes you look cooler. Down by the river, down by the river, we took a little walk, we took a little walk, we ran in the Charlie, we ran in the Charlie, we had a little talk, we had a little I really, really, really wanted to put this on number one spot, but the first one is there for a reason, and number two has a really good reason for being there as well, so really, this and the next two cadences are pretty much tied. Anyways, this next spot goes to the cadence, Mama told Johnny not to go downtown. Now, what makes this one so good, you ask? Well, a lot of things. When sung correctly in the correct lyrics, it can really make you feel sad but optimistic about what the future holds for you as a soldier. The story goes that a man warned by his mother is told not to go downtown due to the recruiters being there. Yada yada yada, he signs up anyways and ship off. Well, you know what? I think you guys should, uh, I think the Caden should do a little talking. Mama told Johnny not to go downtown. Mama told Johnny not to go downtown. Too many airborne recruiters around. Too many airborne recruiters around. Johnny didn't listen and he went anyway. Johnny didn't listen and he went anyway. He went to the army the very next day. He went to it really is a tearjerker, especially being in basic training and hearing that cadence sung by a drill sergeant who really enjoys seeing cadence and who knows how to do them correctly. It's really important to also learn and sing cadences correctly because it can mean your soldier's not getting stabbed and that can reveal something about you as being a leader. So not to mention that sometimes a cadence can really hold a team together even when faced with many challenges. With that being said, I had to give credit to where his credit is due. I heard it uh, originally that this cadence was a Marine Corps cadence, but was just changed around a bit. But nonetheless, I gotta give credit for this beautiful piece of work. Also, a few side notes. Uh, this song can also be a written cadence. I have yet to give it a shot, and some versions of the lyrics have Johnny jumped into Afghanistan to take the lives of the Taliban. And yeah, there's just different versions, but they're all pretty good. 
Number two -y. This next one may just be my generation type of cadence that fits the time and the setting that we're in right now. A lot of cadences such as Here the Chopper's Hovering, Mama Told Johnny Not to Go Down Time, are kind of stuck in the Vietnam setting, with them taking place in the era. However, a few songs like See Al Qaeda Dressed in Black and Come On Over are staples in the current war we are in now and the wars we've seen in the previous decade or so. So that's why Come On Over is a really important cadence in the military right now. This cadence can also be interpreted in a way where a soldier is talking to a civilian who dislikes troops in war and is telling them to pick up a weapon and come on over to see how the war really is like. Interpret it how you will, but the chill mood of it and the seriousness of the t matter makes this a nice cadence to sing with a bunch of your mates. A staple of his history and controversy, let's just come on over. Come on over, come on over, war's not over, war's not over, so put your weapon next to mine, so put your weapon next to mine, hey right on down the road, hey right on down the line. Here are some honorable boy mentions. Now, here are some honorable mentions that I really wish I could have added, but I only had like five. Maybe if the video blows up, I'll do another top five cadences, and maybe I can make one about running cadences too. Dude, I absolutely love cadences. If I could, I would have chosen my MOS to be a professional cadence scholar. Now, let's move on to number one. Number one. Last but definitely not least, we have the number one cadence of all time. B, I hear the choppers hovering. Now, who did not see this coming? I know even a basic training dropout could figure this out. It's so well known that even civilians have heard this cadence. Everyone in basic training has heard this from every Jill Sergeant because it's really a go-to cadence and everyone remembers it so easily. Sure, not many know about the extended version of it, but the basic part of it is the best. What makes it iconic is the history and the context. Listening to it, you understand the grind of a soldier in the Vietnam War, always fighting and seeing his butters get airlifted home, either wounded or dead. Little pieces of history people miss, but it's a total blast to hear. Not to mention when sung really meaningfully and correctly it is the most best thing ever. Give it a go. I hear the chopper coming. I hear the chopper coming. The hovering overhead. The hovering overhead. They come to get the wounded. They come to get the wounded. They come to get the dead. They come to get the dead. There you have it, folks. That's my top five cadences of uh, all time. Maybe if time lets me, I can do another five, and maybe even a run cadence. So uh, who knows? Yeah, maybe I can even put like a marine or navy version. I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't like them, but they're cool. All right. So well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, lick and subscribe, and uh, have a good one, my dudes.